Whoa. Amen. She was different. She 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 was she was bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. But she was different from him. Right. She was compatible with him. And, and hello, hallelujah. Right. I, I won't even get into that. That's another series altogether. Right. But she was compatible with him. And because she was compatible with him, and, and God looked at Adam and, and, and Adam was looking at God and who is this and hallelujah and all that good stuff. And God said, Adam, she's yours. What, what? what do you call her? And Adam said, because she is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone, her name is Eve. All right. And he calls her Eve and they begin to talk to each other and, and they go from there. Now this is the beginning of, of, of a relationship. And from that relationship, the Bible says that Adam knew Eve. Amen. amen. And when Adam knew Eve, hallelujah to God, amen, that was our first marriage ceremony. God introduced her, presented her, and they knew each other. All right, hallelujah to God. Now I say that because that's very important because a lot of people, amen, they get together but they have no intention of knowing each other. They have no intention of spending the time to get to know one another. Now, they will go to bed together, but they won't get to know each other. Amen. And, and, and yes, yes, be trouble. Amen. If you base your relationship solely on, amen, how wonderful someone looks and, and how well they speak, amen, your relationship is most shallow and you will be upset later on. Now, now with that being said, now Adam has now got a companion. He's got someone to talk to, and, and I'm not going to get into the whole fall of man, but there's one significant thing in there that I must bring out before we get to our scripture. Is that all right? That's all right. Um, one of the things that I have to bring out is that Adam, amen, is, is, is reminded by God to have dominion. He says to them in the marriage ceremony, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. Amen. amen. That is that, that is a part of it. That means, amen, that I expect that you two will figure out how compatible you are and make things work. All right. All right. All right. The whole audience got quiet. Amen. amen. Don't get quiet on that part. You're supposed to figure out how suitable you are. Amen. amen. And make things work. And with that in mind, I want to go to the book of Ephesians. Now, there are a lot of things that we could cover today, Lady Bacon, but um, we want to stick with the theme. He said, she said, but what does God say? Yeah. And the reason why this is so important, because so many of our young couples, they come to marriage counseling, and they really don't want marriage counseling. They want somebody to just say, yeah, we'll marry you. And with the state demanding everyone to go to someone and, and get some premarital counseling, they want to run in and run out. They want to tell you all their plans. Yo, we want to have this, we want to have that, we want to have a DJ, we want to have a band. But they don't really want to talk about the things that are important to the relationship. Mm -hmm. Things like, um, uh, can you talk to each other? Yes. Amen. Can, can you um, right. get along with each other? Amen. Because there are so many young couples right now that can't get along um, um, as couples. I don't even see how they're going to make it as married. Yeah, because they fight left and right about anything. Jesus. Anything at all. But they want to be married. I don't Whatever. get it. I don't get it at all. Because if, if, if I can't stand you before I get married, why am I married? What up? What up? All right. Uh, all right. Amen. You, know, you walk around and you're under, under your breath and I can't stand you. All right. Why are you still going through with the ceremony? Good question. Amen. Now, now I know years ago that everybody said, oh, I love you so much, baby. I, I want to marry you, and it don't matter if we don't have this and we don't have that. It's a new day, babe. Yes, Lord. I, I think that you ought to be a little more enlightened. You ought to have a job. Amen. Amen. I think this is going to get a little rough for some folks, amen, because I think some folks want to get married, but they don't want to have a job. We're just going to, amen, live off of love. We're going to sit there and smile at each other, and everything is going to be all right. We're going to be on the street, amen, loving each other. Hallelujah, amen. Well, you know what? That only goes so far. All right, man. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, and I, I tell you that that, that that truth has to come out. That after a while, one of the biggest things that destroys relationships is the lack of money. Yes. Because if you keep looking at each other and um, can we do this? No. Can we do this? No. Can we go here? No. After a while, all those no's are going to lead to a bag being packed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
uh, and, 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 and so as they say, to the left. All right, let me let me get to my text here. Um, Lady Bacon, are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right. We're going to deal with the Apostle Paul's um, letter to the church at Ephesus. We'll deal with chapter 5. I'm going to begin at um, verse 21. Because this scripture is one of the most misunderstood scriptures in all the Bible. Um, this, this, uh, and, and, and let's just take a look at it before I give, give too much background on it. Um, because we don't have a lot of time, but we uh, we give you just enough to work with it. Amen? Um, so let's read together. Um, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Why? Submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is Savior of the body. Let's stop right there. Lady Bacon, um, I like, as a man, I love verse 21. Hallelujah. And verse 22 is just the piece of resistance. I love it. Let me hear what you got to say. Wow. Thought about it. You 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 do love that verse. But uh, let's see. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Bishop, you know, I think a lot of people have a problem with that word submit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, mm hmm. Uh, submit yourselves. But to your own husband. A lot of people trick over that. Amen. Submit yourselves. They think that submitting yourself means that you can walk all over mm -hmm. me and I just allow you to just treat me any kind of way. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> <Don't think>, uh, <laughs> well, well. Women, we do have a problem with that because some men go over. Amen. 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 Well, in the interest of making things um, um, better for us, what does submit mean to you then? Well, it means to it means to give over to your husband. Mm -hmm. It means to allow your husband. It means to just, it means to give up your control. See, women like control too. Uh -huh. well, then, then why can't I just tell you what to do then? Well, that's not the way God has it. He doesn't want you to lord over me. The mm -hmm. word says that. He doesn't want us to lord over his people. But 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 honey, see, you, you, you're not getting this. Look at what the man of God said. The man of God said, <laughs> submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Yes. Wow. Fear of God. <laughs> Alright? So this thing that you it is submitting, it's submission. It, it, now now I, look. I'm a man. I really don't need to submit because verse 22 says, Why submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord? It does say that. Man. Yeah. And it, it seems like a lot of men do get puffed up uh -huh. with that verse. Uh -huh. They just want uh -huh. that verse and take it and run away with uh -huh. that verse. Uh -huh. But the thing is, I haven't, I haven't got a problem with submitting myself unto you if you are... Following the word of God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All and right. If you are not controlling, All right. but if you do what you do in love, then I would love to submit. Uh -huh. All right. Amen. Right. 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 I have a problem with control because I like my control too. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. Well, I like having the last say too. Uh -huh. All right. I like all that. See, all right. People just think, oh, it's just the man with the ego. Mm -hmm. But women have an ego too. All right. Yes. 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 Say it. Well, hallelujah. Let me jump in here. Let's get a little one fired up in this piece. Hallelujah. Now, because from the male perspective, can I, can I say it like that? All right. From yes, the male yes. perspective. Yes, yes. Right. All right. Because I heard what she said. Uh -huh. But from the male perspective, it is somewhat empowering to walk into a relationship and feel that I have been given the responsibility of having someone submitted to me. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are submitted to me, I'm expecting when I get home, mm, dinner, mm, on time, uh, 